Hey everybody, it's your boy Ant from Northgate Taste. Today we're making a cheesecake that's very special to me. It's my Spumoni cheesecake. Now the reason why that one is special to me is because my brother-in-law Charles passed away six years ago. Actually, almost exactly six years ago. And the Spumoni cheesecake was his favorite one that I made. So every time I make one, I think about him a little bit more. Come on. Okay, for this cheesecake, I'm gonna do things a little differently. I mean, they'll be stacked the same way, but I'll introduce them, so to speak, a little differently. Anyway, this is your chocolate cake. And that's the cherry cheesecake. Now, here's the thing about that. Whenever I made fruit cheesecakes in the past, when I mean the past, I mean back, was it? This 2019, about 2010. Now, this was long before I even considered cooking or baking a passion. It was just something to do. But anyway, whenever I used to make these fruit cheesecakes in the past, I would just make a plain cheesecake and then just take a can of whatever fruit pie filling and pour it on top. But then about mm, two years ago, I was thinking, I'm like, you know what? Anyone can open up a can of pie filling and dump it on top of something. I mean, if someone orders a cheesecake and they want the fruit pie filling on top of it, I will do it, but I would prefer to do it this way. I'd even tell them, okay, I'd like to put some fruit into the batter. Oh, speaking of that, on the off chance the fresh fruit I need isn't in season, I will use frozen fruit. The only exception to that is the cherries, because even when cherries are in season, they are extremely expensive. So if I did use fresh cherries, I'd have to charge more. I'd have to charge five, maybe even six dollars more, and I'd just rather not do that. But anyway, let's stack these bad boys. You know what? Here's something else that's different. I'm actually not going to show you the stacked and uniced part because, well, some people may think that's boring. I will show you the icing. Some people may think this is boring too, but here's the thing. The reason why I started making Spumoni cheesecake in the first place is because uh, a lot of my family, cousins and everything used to celebrate or be on this team for Relay for Life via the American Cancer Society. Why that fell apart is a long story. It had nothing to do with the family, but it's a long story. Maybe I'll tell you about it someday. But anyway, what happened was we always had themed food days at our meetings. And this one time we had Italian, and I always used to bring cheesecake. This was before I got into making all other kinds of foods. But I was thinking Italian cheesecake. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, Spumoni. I've heard of that. That's Italian. I'm like, I know it's three things, but what's in it? And I looked it up. Okay, cherries. Okay, I and then there's chocolate or vanilla and pistachios, huh? So I was thinking, so I'll put cherries in the cake. And like I said before, that's the first time I ever put the fruit inside the batter. And then I said the chocolate can be the cake and the pistachios, let's see. Hmm, I can put them in between the layers or no, I'll put them in the icing. Making this the first I seen I ever made that I actually put something inside besides cream cheese and all the other things. Isn't that great? You don't care. Well, in that case, I'm leaving. Yeah, I knew you'd change your mind. Now let's stack and ice this. All nice and iced. You know, the thing is this and my chocolate special cheesecakes which i'll show you one one of these days are my easiest ones to ice but now of course it's time to eat nothing like a nice slice of spumoni cheesecake Let me tell you something. I told you this is Charles's favorite cheesecake that I made. I remember the first time that he ate some, he was just like this. This is on here, bro. And then his wife, my sister, Radia, she took a piece of it and she sh literally shook her fork and she was like, this is delicious. And it is. Well, that's it for Spumoni Cheesecake. You know what to do if you want to order one. Just contact me. Thanks for being here. Hope to hear from you soon. See? Still doing it.